The question, the member from Perry Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the ministry, Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Minister, I asked about the safety plan for the Bala Falls hydroelectric generating station on Monday, but your answer was not clear. So I ask again, has your ministry received a safety plan from Swift River Energy? Yeah, thank you very much, and thank you very much for the question. And, uh, Kind of a bit surprising with a question from the member opposite, who has really not been engaged in this process, whereas my ministry has for some years. But the Ontario government is committed to expanding clean and renewable sources of energy, such as water and wind power. There has been many years' worth, many uh, consultations with the community, and a lot of work that my ministry and the Ministry of Energy and Climate Change has put towards this particular project. And public safety has been the A number one uh, issue at this area. At the moment, Swift River Energy has received approval for pre-construction work, including fencing, storing equipment and materials and constructions of coffer dams. Our ministry has posted signs and fences to ensure public safety. The ongoing safety concerns are heard, but the plans are in place, and I'll speak Thank more you. to the details in the supplementary. supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and back to the Minister of Natural Resources and Forestry. Minister, I want to read from the Lakes and Rivers Improvement Act Administrative Guide published by your ministry. It states that one of the purposes of the Lakes and Rivers Improvement Act is the, quote, protection of persons and property by ensuring dams are suitably located, constructed and operated and maintained, close quote. This is the minister's responsibility. This power dam is being located in the middle of a popular recreation area with cottages and swimming areas in close proximity, both above and below the dam. The Life Saving Society issued a report on the dangers of this project two years ago. Speaker, what is the minister doing to ensure that the Ballot Falls power dam will not pose a danger to swimmers and boaters? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Speaker, and thank you again for the supplementary. But at the moment, uh, public safety measures, including fencing and warning signs, have been put in place around the Bala Dam area. It is the proponent, Swift River Energy's, responsibility to put a safety plan in place. And closer to the end of the project is the time where most of the details will be there. The project has to be built in order to get some of those measurements in place. At the moment, the interim safety plan is in place. It is being enforced by uh, by the proponent, and those uh, those safety plans will be in front of uh, my ministry and others to ensure that the safety of the uh, of this site will continue. And I just want to reiterate: it's the proponent's responsibility. At the moment, the interim plan is keeping the public safe, which is my ministry's number one uh, issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. New question: the member from Parkdale High Park. 